Hello, my name is C. William Harper and welcome once again to Purpose Directed Success. I have a hard question for you. I want to know, are you in business or are you playing business? Yeah, that's what I said, playing business. Or what we used to say when I was a little boy, you're a perpetrator. Now here's what I mean by that. When we all got in business, we all were excited about business ownership. We're doing our own thing. Yay, this is good stuff and we're going to change our lives. However, we had to do something called work. Here's what I mean by that, and I, and I want to be clear. A lot of you, when you started your businesses, you treated it like a job. And eh, wrong answer, starting out. Your business is not a job. It's a business to be run, not to just be owned. And what I mean by not it being a job, if you work it like a job, you've missed, you've missed the whole point. Businesses require time. They require investment. There is no business on the planet that you're going to start no matter what it is that doesn't require you to continue to sow money into because that's how you grow, that's how you get better. Now, about this playing business, playing business means when I get up in the morning, I might eat breakfast, I get up whenever I get up, maybe it's 8 o'clock, maybe it's 11 o'clock, I don't know, it depends on how the evening went. And then I'll get up, I'll eat breakfast, I might watch a little TV, then I'll get up to the computer. When I get up to the computer, I may go to email, but I might go to Facebook because I might want to chat and catch up with my friends. Wrong. That's not running business. That's plant my fact, that's not even playing business. That's a hobby. Do you realize the IRS has standards for a business as opposed to a hobby? Meaning if you make money in business or if you lose money or you don't make money for three straight years or something to that effect, you don't even have a business. You have a hobby. Think about that, guys. If you can't make money for three straight years, you have a hobby. Even the IRS knows that you're playing business. Okay? Now, here's what it looks like to be playing business. Again, when you get up, you have no regiment whatsoever. You have no regular time that you get up. You have no clue as to who you're going to call. And you have no clue as to how to reach the people that you think that you might call. And when you call them, you have no idea what you're going to say. Okay, enough about the negativity. negativity. Let's go with the positive stuff. Here's how it looks like when you're not playing business. First of all, you're doing it six days a week. God gave you one day to rest, take the one day. But you're doing it six days a week. You're putting time in. You're investing. Let's talk about the routine of your day. You're getting up at a certain time. You have a list either online or from the internet or you just wrote it, wrote it down. Now, if you know me, I'm not big into lists. I'm not big into scripts. But for the purposes of our discussion, you have a list. You have contact information. You have times in which you're going to reach them. No, you're not going to text them. You're going to actually speak to them. And now after you begin to speak to them, you have some idea or like I said, a script or something memorized as to what you're going to say. I don't do scripts because scripts are mechanical. I have conversations. I know the points that I want to go over. I know that I want them to feel comfortable with me and I want to identify their need. I have to identify the need because if they don't have a need, I'm wasting their time and my time. So we have an idea as to what we're going to say. We have an idea of the information we want to extrapolate. What that means is the information that I want to get from them so I can go ahead and help them. I have an idea of what that is. After I understand what that is, I present to them options that will help them meet their need. Now I can go a little further along with this, but the point that I'm making to, making to you is this. You have a regiment. You have some idea as to what you're doing and you're prepared. How many of you would go to a doctor that got in the office whenever they felt like it, have no idea what meds they want to prepare for you, have no ideas of how to do, perform a procedure on you, yet they want you to still come? Guys, that's exactly, that is exactly what you're expecting other people to do for you. You're not prepared. You don't know what you want to say. You may or may not have cards. You don't know what you want to tell them. You don't know what you want to present to them. Guys, that's exactly what you're doing. Stop playing business and be a business owner. And not only own it, run your business. Don't be happy just to say, I bought in or I paid my 500, my 1,000, my five, whatever it is you paid. Stop being happy about that. Run your business. Own it, but run it. It's important. It's important to the people that you come across, and it's going to be important to you and your family. Guys, I hope this was a benefit to you. If you know some people that would benefit from it, please send it to them. Now, at the bottom of this, we have 
a free booklet, eight powerful s steps for prospecting. I need you to get that. Doesn't take it's, it's a freebie and it's good stuff. I need you to get that, and you can use that not now, but right now. Okay, guys, I hope this worked for you. May God bless you, and may God love you real good. Take care and goodbye.